Hey Bladrins, welcome back to a new Lightning Quick Repairs episode. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to reinstall the system firmware on your PlayStation 4. If your hard drive has been corrupted or you might have replaced the hard drive, this is basically what will come up when you try boot into it. It will give you this safe mode error and it will tell you to connect the USB storage that contains the update file for reinstallation for version whatever or later. Normally it will just be an update instead of saying the update file for reinstallation it will just say the update file but this will apply and this always applies if your hard drive has been corrupted or you've just swapped out the hard drive because it's encrypted and you need to reinstall it all right so let's get into it so the first thing you need to do is go into sony's website right here this will be always linked in the description below and this is the support page on how to reinstall the firmware on your playstation now if you scroll all the way down you see two links right here you see the update file so let's say if your system has updated but it failed and it goes into the safe mode screen you just need to reinstall the update file and that will update but if your system has been fully corrupted to the point where it's not booting up at all right not an update just you know usual corruption or you've replaced the hard drive you need to reinstall the whole operating system now this is what you need to click on right here if you just um, have a failed update and it's going into safe mode just click on this one the same thing applies by the way it works for the bot it works both for the same thing and it's just two different files for two different scenarios but anyways once you've got it downloaded grab a usb flash drive right that is around eight gigabytes or higher um it could also be four gigabytes but obviously you want to take the safe route um so just plug that in all right guys so once you have got your usb drive plugged in you want to actually locate the usb drive and you want to make sure there's nothing on this drive itself because we're going to be formatting it um now go into your drive and then right click it and then click on format right here there we are this pop-up will come up and you want to go down to the file system and click on fat32 as that's the file system it uses and then click down here and then just right uh, just click on default allocation size um, nothing special uh, click on start then click on enter and then just wait for the drive to format all right there we are and now that is formatted so just click on close and then go to your usb drive you want to right click it and then you want to click on new folder and then type in ps4 once that has been made go into that folder make a new folder and then type in update all in capital letters as you can see click on enter and then go into that and then type actually no don't type in um don't make a new folder uh create a new window and then locate where you got that download of the update file locate it then just you want to copy that or cut it and then just go back into usb drive uh go into the folders again and then click on paste and then that will just move straight into there and once this is all done i'll just go over the steps just so you know what exactly you've done all right so it's just moved over now so now that we've got this right here we want to make sure we've got everything correct so the first thing you need to do once again is right click on the usb drive format make sure it's fat32 and don't worry about the allocation size it doesn't really matter if you want you can put it to the default um, but i just put it as default anyways um, click on close once that's done and then you want to make a folder in this usb drive right here so if i go back into the root of it uh, you want to make a ps4 folder then you want to make an update folder all in capital letters and then you should get this file right here that you downloaded the ps4 update.pop um, if it, it might say on the actual website right here um, to make sure it's correctly spelt so it's like that if it's um, incorrectly spelt if you've downloaded multiple of them by accident make sure you get rid of anything else and it's just this right here uh, you want to paste that into that update folder and once that's done you could just eject the drive and then you can plug it into your ps4 so let's just eject it um, let's try again there we are uh, we can eject it and now let's move over to the playstation 4 all right so now that you've got your usb drive ready to go just turn on your playstation 4 if you haven't already and wait for it to boot up okay here we are so it says cannot start the playstation 4 connect the, the dualshock 4 using the usb cable and then press the ps button so make sure you've got your controller connected i'm using this uh, aftermarket one but as long as it's connected to the system and it works that's fine so connect it via a micro usb cable right here 
and then just press the PS button. Here we go. And then it says connect the USB storage device that contains an update file. Um, so now that you've got that, get your USB drive and plug it in to the system. And then once that's done, it, the joysticks aren't going to work. You use a D-pad for this. Click on OK. And it's going to locate the USB drive that you formatted and put the update file on or the reinstallation file on. So let's just wait for that. All right, guys, this is what will come up. Um, the disk drive is a bit weird. I had to kind of cut the video because the disk drive wasn't detected and it gave an error code. So I had to just quickly take apart the PS4 and, you know, reconnect the disk drive because it wasn't connected properly. But anyways, this is what will come up. So you just want to click on yes and it's going to initialize. Here we are, as you can see, the console has just shut off, it's going to reboot, so it's going to turn back on, and then we can finally get into the setup screen. Yay, there we are, that's what we've been waiting for all this time, and now you can finally grab your controller and just wait for the setup screen to occur. Yay! Let's get the remote up here. There we are. So as you can see, the setup screen has loaded up here. Just gonna focus that. Let's start this. Connect your PS4 controller again, and it's already gonna be connected. There we are. Let's just skip through all of this. Well, that's the incorrect time. That's fantastic. Uh, let's do that. There uh, we go. Yay! We've got our PlayStation 4 fixed. And that is how you fix the operating system on your PlayStation 4. Thank you very much for watching this video. If this fixed your PlayStation 4, leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again in the next Lightning Quick Repairs.